I was just introduced. My name is Hope, Hope Williams. I am an alumni of Edison. As I told the beautiful ladies, I graduated in 2002. I went to Computech uh, and I went to Wilson. That's my educational career as far as my formative years. However, I would like to start with this. Thank you for being here. Really, thank you for your time and your attention because those are the two things. Come on in. <coughs> those are the two things we cannot get back in life. You can always get money back you cannot get time back. So I am thanking you for your time and your attention while you're here. Thank you for the Women's Alliance because your mission statement aligns with me and I would like to read it out loud because we will touch on a few of those points. So the mission statement of the Men's and Women's Alliance is to help students Develop personal behavior and personal development skills that will lead to success in the classroom and their career and their adult lives. So I started with me. I graduated from Edison. Some of the young ladies have my yearbook. I also won most outgoing and best dancer, which I still am in life. Um, after that, I went on to Fresno City College where I started studying psychology. And from there, I thought, wow, I have all of these skills. Do I want to continue? Do I want to finish and go to college? What am I going to do? And I share that because often it's just thought that, come on in, Mr. Finley. He was here when I was at Edison. Were you in his class? I was not, but his son was like a year younger than me. I knew him and some of the other teachers. Um, often there's just the thought of college is the only direction. And that is a direction that you can pick and it's a fabulous direction. And there's other ways to live life. And I like to share that because it may take off the pressure. So, I actually went into aviation. In 2006, I became a flight attendant. And I was a flight attendant for 15 years. During that time, I like to share that I, I left some nice young men in the countries that I found them in. I, <laughs> that's a great thing when you want to travel or nice young ladies, it's really great to just say, bye, you don't have to break up. You like move countries, you change your number, but that's a whole nother topic. Okay, I'm gonna come over here because I see you guys over here talking. You see? Um, and as my time as a flight attendant, I lived almost 10 years in Europe. I lived in London, I lived in Paris, and I traveled a little over 60 countries. I share that because that's really where I learned so much about myself. So much of us is not known until we're put into situations where we have to grow to the occasion. That 15 years shifted when in 2019, I had an emergency landing. I was on a flight. I was the head flight attendant working from Seattle, Washington to Washington, DC. And the captain called. So I went to pick up the phone. I said, hi, this is Hope. And the captain said, Hope we are having a failure of our left engine. We will have to make an emergency landing. I will let you know when we have more information. Click. It changed my life. Tell me your name, please. Wendy. 
Yes. Ashley. Ashley, if you had that phone call, what would you feel? Very anxious and nervous. Very anxious and nervous. Please tell me your name, sir. I'm looking right at you, and I walk right up to you. May I have your name, please? Manny. No, thank you, Manny. Please. I would love for you to answer this question. How would you feel if you were on an airplane mm -hmm. and you received a phone call that you were going to have to make an emergency landing? Scared. Scared. Okay. So we have scared, we have anxious. Mr. Finley, tell me, what would you feel immediately if you receive that phone call? You may not make it. Jets don't, don't lie. Yeah, they fall, like a rock. they fall like a rock. That is correct. I did not. That's why I'm here. But that moment changed my life forever. And it changed my life because that's when I actually saw this thing called life can just go. I did love my career of flying, but then I thought, wait a minute. This is what they're paying me for to evacuate this plane, but I don't know if this is for me anymore. And it was at that time I was very shaken up because the engine did go as soon as we made our emergency landing. And I remember being the head flight attendant. I was the one that made all the announcements like, hi, this is United Flight, flight 2374 with nonstop service to San Francisco International Airport. I was that person, but that meant I had to take the responsibility of making sure everyone got off the plane, of making sure my flight attendants were okay. I'm sharing this because how would you feel if you had to have that responsibility? The truth is you already do. You have that responsibility over your life now. After that flight, I took about three months off from flying and I sat down and I wrote a list. What do I want out of life? What do I want to do? Do I just want to continue to fly around the world? Do I want to continue to leave men in the countries I found them in, which is a nice benefit? Do I want to just share these stories or is there more in me? And that's when I determined there was more in me. And I always like to talk. And so as I wrote this list, what do I want out of life? What do I want to give back? How do I want to change the world? It was something so simple that we <laughs> overlooked. Who are you looking at in there that you're laughing at? Oh, she had the glued on bangs? I know who you're talking about. I'll tell you. Okay. What it came down to was my voice. And all of this comes back to your voice because sometimes we don't know the power of our own voice. We don't know the power that we have to affect change. We don't even have the power, we don't even know our power to speak up for ourselves. So the basis of this talk is going to be about that. How do you find your voice? How do you speak up for yourself? How do you tell someone, you know what, that's not okay? Because we're not always taught that skill. <laughs> Don't laugh. This was 20 years ago. They're laughing at the yearbook. Uh, that was 20, over 20 years ago. That was 22 years ago that I graduated high school. So 
So back to our voice. I determined that I would like to be a speaker and that's what led me here today. I also went specific. Where do I want to live? I was living in New York at the time. I lived in DC, I lived in London, I lived in Paris, I lived in New York and Jersey. And I said, this isn't, I've done the cities, it's great, but I want something more. It's time for me to move to an island. So I determined then I'll move to Hawaii. Less than six months later, I moved to Hawaii. I knew my time with the airline was limited. Less than a year later, when COVID happened, I took early retirement from the airline. And a year after my retirement from the airline in 2020, that's when I began speaking because this is what fuels me. It's what fulfills me. It's what gives others strength. 